Okay, hey everybody, Jason here. So I'm out at the bush camp and it's early June. The mosquitoes are definitely in full action. So I'm gonna put some spray on in a minute and hopefully that keeps them off of me because I have a few things that I wanna get done. I've got a dead cherry tree I wanna take down. It's leaning right towards the center of camp. So if it falls down, when I'm sleeping in here, that would absolutely suck. Uh, I also bought a new Hennessy hammock, four season hammock, and hammocks are new to me. So I wanna try setting it up. This will be the first setup, so hopefully I do it right. And then if all goes well, and yeah, I'm not entirely swarmed by bugs, I'll do a cookout here. I've got, a, I've got some elk to try cooking so yeah let's see how it goes Okay, so with the tree down, the next thing really is for me to set up the hammock. And why a hammock? Well, I keep seeing all kinds of people swear by it, saying it's the you know it's the best that you know you're you're suspended, so you never have a like a wet ground to sleep on. Um, they say that it's uh, comfortable, the best sleep that they've ever had, and uh, also skills. You know, I like learning new skills, and so this gives me you know, something to practice that's different and maybe it'll be a new way, you know, my new way of getting outdoors and I might, you know, I might like hammock camping better than tent camping. So yeah, worth the try. So I bought a new hammock. Let me grab it. Okay, so this is the new hammock. It is the Hennessy Four Season Expedition Asymmetrical Zip. Um, yeah, that's a mouthful. So Hennessy Hammock, company that makes them, uh, the brand, uh, Four Season. So it's uh, uh, rated for Four Seasons. Now, I believe they have something to do with the temperatures, what it's good for, and I don't know why what they relate that to but it didn't seem like it was at all Canadian four season you know like I think it might have said that it's like negative three or zero or something which is definitely not four season around here um, where we get to you know like negative 40 um, but I do camp late in the season last year it was uh, uh, into November snow on the trip and if I can use this in those early winter conditions, then that would be great. Um, yeah, Expedition Asymmetrical Zip. Well, I guess it's a, I guess they like the word expedition and probably it's good for that type of thing. Uh, asymmetrical, I'm guessing it's the shape and zip. I believe they say that because it has a zipper. Um, so, yeah, like I said, complete noob when it comes to hammock camping, so let's see how this goes. 
I have no idea, but let's see how easy or more difficult it is to set up. Should be all right. Okay, so let's see what's inside this thing. So what's nice is that it has a compression sack and I'm gonna open that up. Yeah, so it's interesting cover. Wasn't sure how that would go. The inside is just, uh, once I took that cover off, it's just, you know, like any other, you know, top of a backpack or sleeping bag. Um, it opens up. And then we've got, uh, yeah, so it came with a emergency rescue blanket. So, hmm, destroy after use. Interesting. So I've got some uh, webbing strap, and wow, wow, feeling this, it's actually quite, quite thick. Getting it out, hopefully it's uh, not impossible to put back in this uh, compression sack, let me see. interesting because you know I'm opening it up and I have no idea what I'm looking at here so well, clearly I'm looking at a hammock but how it all comes together is completely foreign to me okay so I'm guessing these are like the two side guy lines um, that they have when they package them somehow wrapped to the outside Oh yeah, okay, and yeah, here's the actual uh, rope to tie it up, so, and with the straps, okay, hopefully there's two straps, two straps, cool. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so I should probably have done a bit more research on how to do this before coming out with it, but, you know, I figure hammocks can't be that complicated but still you know if I do things that are not right leave a comment and let me know um, yeah totally open to you know positive constructive criticism uh, you know don't be a jerk but yeah if you have something that'll help me out let me know um, I'm on a slight hill and so I think that probably I need to still try to level it out um, and I was looking at some of the resource material on the hammocks and I think Hennessy, the height that they had for the, the tie-off was about five feet high. Now, I'm not an incredibly tall person, um, around 5'8", five, 5'9", five, so uh, I'm going to guess that my head is probably eight or nine inches and so I'm gonna try to just aim for you know chin level um, but because I'm on a hill I'm gonna have this one slightly lower because then uh, on the other side I will have it just slightly higher and hopefully between the two I'm high enough and I'll have a relatively straight run I don't know if that's important but that's what I'm going for And that'll 
and I'll do it one more time. I'll probably hold it while I just uh, get the other side going. Okay, well, I don't actually know how tight any of this should be, but I can't can't really bend this. And uh, yeah, I've never done this, so should probably clear out the mess underneath of it. But anyway, let's see. One of the things that I also like about the hammock idea is that it is a seat, a chair, you know, a bench or whatever as well. So I guess that's the first test before I set up the uh, the tarp over top of it or the rain fly I'm gonna say as well oh what's that flying ant maybe there you go um, yeah the thickness I have to figure out how can you there's a pad in there so I guess that's the thermal pad that is in place I don't know how you get it out if you need to get it out but anyway, let's see if it'll uh, support me. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I guess the first test is to see how it works as just a seat or a bench. Should probably have cleared the debris out from underneath, but I'm trusting in the Hennessy hammock right now. So let's see. A little bit worried. Ooh. I don't know if I'm supposed to be this low. <laughs> yeah, I'm bottom, bottoming out. Hmm. 
Okay, so I guess the only thing that I can do, or what I can do, is raise the straps higher. Um, the tension seems to be right, but maybe not. So anyway, some adjustments. Okay, so I've raised the height up more. Uh, it's closer to, I don't know, five and a half feet now. And uh, a little bit tighter, I think. You know, I cinched it up. So let's see how try number two goes. Seems like it's very high, so I don't know about that, but... But actually, that's not bad. I'll need to get used to the ridge line across the back of my head when sitting in it. So if anybody has a suggestion about that or, you know, what the solution is, how to deal with it, maybe just move forward more I don't know. but yeah actually this is not bad as far as the seat goes moment of truth hat off Yeah, you know, this is a uh, this is not too bad. I uh, I'll have to adjust and get used to lying in it, but I can see what they mean by the diagonal. Um, you know, everybody says, and they use the term uh, like banana ing, or we're not bananas, and that if you lie with your head at one end and your feet straight across at the other, you, your body bends like a banana um, and that by lying on a diagonal you can lie flat and I will say that right now I am not flat but I'm pretty comfortable so I think that probably a bit more adjustment and figuring out how to lie in here actually that just brought my legs down a little bit, I think. Um, yeah, a little bit more playing with it. And yeah, there's no question it's comfortable. This is nice.
Well, I'm going to have to write to the company and ask them about the whole sitting. It's just sitting down, sitting on the zipper and wondering if that's bad. If anybody knows who's watching, let me know. Is it okay to sit more on the edge of the hammock? Anyhow, I'm going to today. I think it's a bad idea to ever eat inside of any kind of shelter. Um, you know, bears and whatnot. So I'm going to use it as a a bench or a seat but I'm gonna make sure that I lean outside definitely don't want to be dripping any uh, medium rare elk on the inside of my my hammock so anyhow that's really it for today guys so it's my first time hammocking first time cooking elk so why elk well you know, it's, uh, continue the challenge. Keep trying different things. And apparently elk is super good for you. It's super lean. I think it's leaner than chicken breast. So, so yeah, so give it a try. And uh, yeah, carrots, parsnips. Added uh, some thyme so they'll have nice flavor. And, uh, hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Super lean. Anyhow, I'm not going to sit here and eat in front of you. I guess I am. Just want to say thanks. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And uh, if you don't mind, share. But uh, I'm really happy with this. So that's it for today and see you later.